Hey everyone, it's Ken from Two Drunk Brothers Garage. I got a little project. Another one for the Dodge Durango. I used to have a rigid single row LED light bar in the front of it. Um, one of my old co-workers backed into the Durango a long time ago and I never got the bumper fixed and the light wasn't aimable where it was mounted. So I'm gonna put a couple of uh, pieces of metal to extend it out a little bit from the front of the bumper and uh, so I can get the light back on there and use it. Cause it's pretty dark up here, right? This time of year it, and uh, I like to have a little brighter lights when there's nobody coming at me. So all that I gotta do is try to get it mounted back to the bumper, get it level and then connect two wires and uh, get her back working. So I'll get the camera flipped around and uh, show you what I'm doing. Okay, here's the front of the Durango. Here's this LED light bar I have. It used to be mounted um, right in this part of the bumper. As you can see, it's dented. So if I were to try to remount it in these holes here, the light bar would flip down and the, the hood wouldn't latch. So I'm gonna take these here and I'm gonna take in uh, where I have that groove cut out, as you can see, I'm gonna take and mount those in those holes there. <clears throat> and then I can mount the light in that hole, but I'm gonna take and cut this off. And uh, so it doesn't stick out too far, just enough to get the light and then I can yeah, these might be aimed down a little bit, but I can adjust with the feet on the, with the mounting brackets, I can adjust the the light to get it level. I know it's kind of not the right way to do it, but I didn't get the truck fixed and the truck ain't really worth fixing because it is a 99 and it is uh, got 240 some thousand miles on it. But it's a good light bar, still works good, still bright. And uh, so I'm gonna get that on here and uh, see what I gotta do. But this hole here is big enough for the bolts I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this bolt right here. It's a, a not quite a half inch, it's actually a metric bolt. I have a whole bunch of these. Uh, but this hole over here, it won't fit in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, make that hole a little bit bigger so i'm gonna do a little bit of drilling and then once i get those on i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna cut these off right below right probably right in here and uh mount the light on it get the light adjusted then i gotta <clears throat> get under here somewhere and find my my uh when i cut this off so i could get the hood open and stuff i gotta go find my other ends in the hood area somewhere where I cut it off um, and do that. So I'm gonna just let this keep, actually I'm gonna probably just time lapse this and uh, get this mounted up. Okay, so I got that hole drilled bigger. So now the bolt will fit in there. So now I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna get these mounted on here, and then uh, I will probably just get my. I do have a chop saw that I could use. I got a chop saw that I could use, but I think I'm just gonna get my grinder with my cutoff wheel and cut them off in the on the vehicle. Okay, as you see, I got these on here. Nothing's tight yet. And once I get it, I mean, so far, and I know it's hokey, but if I had a smooth bumper, it probably wouldn't be so bad. But I don't care as long as I get light. And like I said, I'll cut these off. 
I'll get my grinder out and I'll, I'll cut those off. But I want to get these, I want to get these brackets tightened down before I uh, actually tighten the light bar down and I'll get the, them cut off and then I'll put the light bar back on there. But yeah, I think that'll work once I get it. Then I can get this aimed up to where I need it because I can adjust it on the side of the light bar here once I get these tightened down to these brackets. But like I said, I know if I would have got the bumper redone, but the car is old enough, it's just I drive it to and from work. It's a beater with a heater. Okay, so I got these brackets on there tight. So I'm gonna, I left the light on there just to make sure I had enough wiggle room. So I'm gonna take the light back off here and then I'm gonna cut, uh, I'm gonna cut this bracket off probably just above this hole right here on both sides. That leaves me with one hole and a little bit of extra. So I'm gonna get, I got my grinder but I gotta change and put a cutoff wheel on it and get an extension cord over here. But that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm doing next. Okay, I got those cut off just enough to have the one hole as you can see now i'll put the light bar back on there and uh get it semi straight because i won't be able to get it really straight until i get it wired up and can turn it on but i think that's going to work just fine Okay, I got that on there. I actually uh, put some new nuts on there. She's pretty, pretty sturdy. Now I just got to run the wire. I got to find the wire when I cut this off. I got to find the wire. It comes from this. Let me zoom this out a little bit. From this um, capacitor type. It's like a relay. But the battery's hooked into that, and uh, the wire comes up here, and there's a toggle switch on the dash, but it's hooked into the high beam switch, or I can just turn the light bar off. So I'm gonna find the wires, because I don't see them dangling in down in here. So it's gonna take me a minute to find them. They're in here somewhere, but uh, I will, uh, Turn the video back on when I'm, uh, once I find them. It's gonna take me a minute to find them. Okay, so I decided to put the wire back through the original hole right here and it was just laying in between in the bumper here. I did find the wire loom, but the wires, because of the way it's gonna be, I'm gonna have to add a little bit of wire to my ends because they're down there. Uh, so I'm gonna get a, 
couple of short pieces of wire and butt splice them down there. And then I'll pull this back up through here and then butt splice them up here so I can get this all back together again. And once I get them all butt spliced together, it should work immediately because I didn't take apart anything up in here. I just cut the wires when I took this off because this was all aimed down. And actually, I thought I was going to sell the vehicle and get rid of it. So I wasn't going to let this $1,000 light bar go with the vehicle the way it was. So... I was going to put it on something else, but since I'm keeping in it, I'm going to put it back on here. So I'm going to go get some probably six inch pieces of the wire to adapt onto these, maybe a little longer, and uh, get this thing hooked up. Okay, I got the wire extensions on here. I'm using a blue wire for the ground, so I don't have no uh, 12 gauge black wire and I got a 10 gauge red wire. So I'm going to uh, cut these just a little bit shorter and then I'll get these ones butted together. And we should be in business. Okay, I got these uh, butt spliced together. And now, the truth will be if the light still works the way it's supposed to be hooked up. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna aim this where the light bar is aimed. So, uh, we'll see if this thing still works. So now I'm just going to, I'm going to take and uh, just finish touching up the wires there, hiding them a little bit more, and uh, wrapping this up. So I'll get these uh, hit under here. Got to put my cardboard back in front of my radiator because I don't know if y'all know, Dodges don't like to heat up very good and since I've had this thing, it don't heat up the greatest. And I've uh, flushed the heater core. But uh, yeah, up here in Alaska, you got to kind of put some cardboard in front of your radiator when you're going down the road when it's uh, 10 to 20 below zero to help stuff stay a little warmer. So I'll get this wrapped up. I got the cardboard back in there but what I didn't check to see is what it's gonna oh yeah that's good may not be a hundred percent level but I don't really care as long as I have light and I may have to aim it down because it looks like it's a little high I'll have to wait till I get out at night because right now it's daylight and uh, check it out. But the light bar is officially back on the Durango. Okay, everyone. Got the Durango all wrapped up. Uh, not too hard of a little project. Now I'll be able to see a little better at night. I have some new uh, headlight enclosures coming. 
and some new fog light enclosures coming. Um, I'm going to get rid of the projection headlight enclosures because they're not working as good. They're all fogged over. They're pretty old. Had them on there for uh, probably uh, 10 years now or more. I think I put them on. Yeah, I put them on when I moved up here. So I've been up here for 15 years. So they've been on there and they're getting a little hard to see. So uh, I hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, it was just something I, I just wanted to put the light bar back on the Durango. But nothing major. It had been installed before, so I didn't have to do no major in wire. Just reconnecting the wires, the existing wires. So, uh, cheers, everyone. Hope you liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Ray couldn't be here at work. So, uh, cheers. Cheers, brother. Cheers to you all, you guys out there. Ken from Two Drunk Brothers, out. Got a can of the peach bush light. It's not too bad.